So here I am at the boat. Um, it's the end of the summer in 2023. And I'm gonna install the black water tank sensors that I didn't get a chance to do last time. You can either access through the um, lazarette like I did previously or behind the wall in here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean this area here ready for the um, the sensors that are gonna go up on the side of this. This is a project I started last year, but I never got around to finishing it because I basically wanted to go sailing. So, and I don't like to do projects during the sailing season. So we're at the end of the uh, 2023 sailing season right now. And I'm gonna clean this side of the tank here. Uh, firstly, with soapy water. So it's not very dirty actually. So, but I just want to make sure that we can stick to it. So here we go. So I don't know which side we're going to put it on yet, whether it's the back side, which is the side on this side or the other side. But you can see there that the pink level, that's basically because I've um, winterized it. Now I've only put two gallons in there and you can see how much two gallons takes. Right now I'm gonna use some rubbing alcohol to uh, to make sure it's degreased. I'm pretty sure, you know, this sort of alcohol is not gonna melt the tank or anything. Well, I hope not. I haven't used acetone for the same reason. But yeah, it goes on and it's just gonna take off any impurities on this surface. There you go, nice and clean. So the height is uh, 30, about 34 centimeters. The first one is gonna go about 10%. And then after that to about 90%. All right, so I got my measurements and uh, calculated what the positions of everything should be. And now I'm gonna measure it and, uh, and, and try and mark it off. And with these marks, I should be able to, I'm sorry if the camera's moving around a little bit, but should be able to do this on either side. Now I do want to move it in a little bit. So like, instead of coming right next to the corner, cause I think the corner and the material wise might be built up. Uh, so I'd better to, to actually do it around this location versus like right in the corner where it might be, might be too thick. I don't know how thick it is. Now the tools say that they will be good for about 12 millimeters of, of thickness. I doubt it's 12 millimeters to carry the weight that we're talking about, uh, but we will see. All right, so we're at the top side and uh, if you look down here, we've got the battery monitor here. And then this is a little pod that I put together to uh, have the, 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 the five different sensors on. And you see they're all numbered one, one through five. And I'm just gonna throw those off the side like so. 
And really, we just need just need this to put it inside. And it's gonna go through this connector here. So first of all, we're gonna take the top off and then feed it through. It's a lot of noise here because there's boats being washed, boats coming out of the water. I think these are the last ones today. But this is only Velcro down. That's what we did in last year. It's just Velcro to the top. There's no real load. So it really just sits there. I'll probably do the same thing with this other one as well. Just clean a spot for it. Then Velcro it. Velcro it. Alright, so that's the top off. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure it's loose. And then I'm going to push this through there. Alright. And then, this gland is big enough that it fits in pretty, quite easily and then small enough that you can uh, it will hold so I need to snug it up later but for now I'm just gonna get the wires out so there we have that that's out right then we've got five wires in here Green and white is what I want to trim first. Right. So now I've connected 3.3 volts and uh, no volts to the sensors and also uh, number one and number five uh, assuming that they're in the right order so what I'm going to do now is going to go downstairs and going to see if they are actually in the right order right so I have one and five connected and you can see that they're set at, they're at zero and that's because they're it's sort of proving that they're connected uh, because they've, they've got pull downs on them two two is not connected so whatever happens you can't see it but here's five now so five is actually five so there we go we've got these the right way around so i've got five in there now and I, as you can see when i when i cover five like so the light goes on and it shows up on the screen at the same time it takes a couple of seconds to do, um, but it but it does. Now, one thing we haven't tested, and we're going to do this now, is whether these actually work with the liquid that's in here. And they do. You can see. You can see on the camera there. If I take this and I put it on the side here and I press down I get to there which is where the water level is and it lights up so that that works so all right so all I need to do now is, is wire in the other the other three and they should they should work and then stick them on and stick this on top so I will do that now Okay, so from inside we proved that these were wired in the same, in the right direction. Now, what do I do with my phone? So two is blue. So that's good, because they're next to each other. So that makes sense why, why I did that a year ago. I'm glad I was thinking ahead. The boss is on the phone. Better take that one. Hello. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll come home for dinner and then we'll come back and pick up some stuff. 
uh, I'm just doing a job uh, I should be done in about half an hour to an hour what's the tea? okay all right well how long will it take? Well, we'll wait half an hour and put them on what time is it now? what time is it now? okay well I'll come home at six Okay, see you in a bit. Uh, wait, wait. No, I'll come on at half past six. Uh, most of what I'm doing is inside the boat. Yeah. All right. Bye. All right, it's a blue. Blue is next. That's that one. So what's number three? Number three is brown and white and then number four is brown so the two together all right let's go and check the computer make sure all five of them work before I put it back in the box so now they're all showing zeros random ones okay right, right so this is number one what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put number one here as you can see, so I've put a piece on the front there that is probably about three mil thick, and I don't know how thick the tank is, but if I put it against the tank, it's not like that. I put it across against the tank there. Don't light up. Just a bit of epoxy. All right, so I'm going to leave that 10 minutes and see what happens. In the meantime, I think I brought the cloth to clean this area. Alright, so that's uh that's that and, and these are pretty well stuck now. These are pretty much epoxied in place. So I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Today I'm back at the boat. Uh, it's the next day. Should be able to take the tape off now. Um, and see, oh these are nicely stuck. Tapes can come off. And oh that took the label off. I don't know whether I need the label to be honest, but so I'm just gonna throw that away. Um, so that's all trash. I think that, 
that's good enough. Uh, it just takes the load off them a little bit um, so that they're not pulling on that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this up. And this just goes, this goes up like this. Anyway, that's that's that.